Live, breaking news from KCTV5. We have the newest details on two breaking news stories in the Metro today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carolyn Long. And I'm Brad Stevens. We'll get to the latest out of Grain Valley in just a moment. But we begin with a house fire in the Northland where two people are dead, two others in critical condition. KCTV5's Carolina Cruz is live for us there. Carolina, have investigators said yet what started this fire? Well, that is part of the investigation, and the spokesperson for the media unit at KCPD, Donna Drake, says they do not believe right now that it is suspicious. When first responders first got here to the home, flames were shooting out of the front of that house. That is where the most extensive damage is to this home. We're told that one of the victims was at the front door. And firefighters, they rescued four people inside. Three out of the four were children. Here as dispatchers were responding to the scene. They do confirm that there's three children trapped in the house. We burned it to the children's horses. We murdered children to two. One of the neighbors I spoke with says that she is devastated. She said she watched the kids play on the block often because it's a tight knit community. She says the fire spread quickly through this home. The deputy fire chief Nino Bruno says that's why every minute matters in these cases. Two lessons. You see the light, you hear the sirens, you see the lights, pull to the right, let us by. It's very important that the emergency crews get to the scene. Second thing is everybody check your smoke detectors on a regular basis. Make sure you got your smoke detectors working. Investigators are working to learn if there were working smoke detectors in that home. And right now the home is being boarded up for the night. The police department is going to be taking over this investigation. And we will have more on this story coming up tonight at 10. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News.